What is up, New York Yankees fans? Yet again, it is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, welcome to Stas. As you guys saw in that intro, Ozzy Gian, the Ozzy Gian himself, has joined NY News TV. You could catch him and his son tomorrow, January 25th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Only on NY News TV. If you're not subbed, subscribe right now. Go ahead, I'll give you some time. Type it on YouTube. Type in NY News TV. It's the NY News TV logo, obviously. Now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We've got so many great shows on there. Designated Spitters, NYYST, Twin Bill, Hola Como Estas with yours truly, Gary Sheffield Jr. with Chef Talk, and now Tuesdays, Gian's World. So Yankees fans, let's have a little chatty do. You know that little feeling you get? What people would call their intuition? Well, Mines is telling me that Freddie Freeman is on the top of the Yankees list for a number of reasons. And when I say top of the Yankees list, I mean top of the list of the Yankees list if they signed somebody big via free agency. Why? Because there's a good chance that the Braves might trade for the A's Matt Olson, who is another Yankees fan favorite. And they could easily trade for him. I'm not saying the Yankees don't have the pieces, which they do. Their minor league system is beast. They have a whole bunch of arms. And besides that, offensively, you could say whatever. But overall, their minor league system is solid. I can see Freddie Freeman signing with the Yankees for a number of reasons. There's been talk that he's looking for a five-year deal in the range of $150 million dollars which is about $30 million per season. Yes, uh, Freeman is going to turn 33 in 2022, but if he's looking for a five-year deal, he'll be about, what, 38 years old when his contract expires? But I will say this, if you're the Yankees, do you want aging players playing the infield? Let's say LeMahieu, he's going to be signed till his late 30s as well. I'll say this, if this was two years ago, I would give Freddie Freeman that five-year contract. But as of now, I am not signing a Freddie Freeman if it's not for like three seasons. With, let's say, an option for a fourth year. And realistically, thinking about his age, I don't think he's going to get $30 million per season. Maybe his first two seasons, but I don't see him getting that that big 150 contract. Here's more reasons, and this is just my opinion, why I believe Freddie Freeman is on top of the Yankees list. I think Cashman wants to repeat the signing of Mark Teixeira. Even though he was younger, the Yankees went out and signed Cesar Sabathia. They signed Burnett. And then they signed Mark Teixeira. And don't quote me on that order. It's just what I recall. I believe Cashman wants to repeat the success he had in 2009. Even if the window is one to three seasons of winning a World Series. Freeman is just one of those players. We know he's great, right? He's great. He's one of those tall dudes that one season he almost had 200 hits. We know he has pop. He has power. We know he could hit for average. Defense is good. He's a really great player. And he's not, you know, I know he's up there in age, but he's not asking for, let's say, a Robinson Cano type of contract. You know, a player in his 30s being a free agent asking for 10 years. I think if the Yankees could get him down to, let's say, the $25 million per season range, 22 to 25 I think they'll accept five years. Let me rewind back a little. I think $22 million per season, I think the Yankees would bite on that. As for another player who's basically the same age, Anthony Rizzo, who plays better defense, would cost less. But there's something about Freddie Freeman that, like I said in the beginning of this uh, video, that, you know, my intuition says that Freddie Freeman is 
on, on top of that list. Left-handed bat, he looks like he's made for New York. I mean, he has uh, Yankees written all over him. That's all I'm saying. What I'm trying to say here is if you want the perfect poster boy, Freddie Freeman is literally that guy. So, so many options, Yankees fans. The Yankees have had so much time to think about stuff with this lockout. I think when it ends, the Yankees are going to go on a shopping spree. That's just m what I think. I think they're going to try to duplicate that 2009 offseason. That's just what I feel. And if they don't, hmm, this team is mediocre at best. They're a wild card team. And yes, they could do it via trains. They don't have to sign free agents, but this is the Yankees. They're prospect huggers, and really I don't have confidence in the Yankees when it comes to that. But I do have confidence in the Yankees when they decide to spend. When the Yankees decide to spend money, forget it. They're blowing everybody out the water. So Yankees fans, what do you guys think? What do you guys think about Freddie Freeman? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And guys, make sure to check out Gillian's World premiering at 7 p.m. only on NYY News TV. Again, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you all next time.